Hi everyone, so I already primed my face and did my eyebrows. So I'm just doing the usual. I'm taking NYX's Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and mixing that with L'Oreal's True Matches Lumi Foundation and Buff Beige. And I'm just buffing that into my skin with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm just taking NYX's HD Concealer and CW10 and I'm just putting that underneath both of my eyes. So I'm going to go back to my face, but I'm just going to prime my eyes with NYX's eyeshadow base. And this is just the white one. They have a skin colored one too, I believe. From the Maya Mia palette, I'm just taking the caramel color and putting that into my crease and blending it out. So I learned this from one of Crispy's videos. If you tilt your brush like this, it blends so much more smoothly. If you don't watch her, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Anyways, I'm taking that Sienna color and I'm putting that into my crease to deepen up the look a little bit more and just blending it out. From the Naked One palette, I'm putting Sidecar all over my lids. I'm taking the color Coco Star from my Too Faced Natural at Night palette and I'm just blending that into my outer V of my eye. Popping this super white color into my inner tear duct, and I can't remember the name of it, but I will list down below the name of the palette. I'm taking Sidecar again and putting that into my lower lash line, and I'm mixing that with Caramel as well. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with NYC's YI Pencil. So I'm just popping on lashes and these are the Ardell Wispies. I recommend these if you want lashes that are super easy to apply because the lash band on these are just super flexible. I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara to coat my lashes. And then I'm using Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara for my lower lashes since the wand is a little bit smaller. Taking Max Prep and Prime and Light Boost, I'm putting that all underneath my eyes, moving it towards my temples, down the bridge of my nose, my center of my forehead, these little lines that put it, <laughs> and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. You want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp because that's when it works the best to blend things in. And then I kind of just use my finger for some things. To set that, I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder with my Damp Beauty Blender. So I just bought this and this is Maybelline's Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade Toffee Caramel. And I'm just using this for contouring. I'm putting that along the sides of my hairline, moving it down to my temples, my jawline, and I'm just contouring my cheekbones. And then I'm just making sure everything is blended in smoothly. So I'm taking that shade and I'm using it to contour my nose just a little bit. For 
our blush, I'm applying this cranberry pinkish color from the BH Malibu palette. I'm so sad this little guy broke, but I'm just highlighting the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on top of where we put our blush with Benefit's What's Up highlighter. And then I'm just using my finger to blend it out. I forgot to highlight my brow bone, so I'm just taking the color Vanilla from the Maya Mia palette and just popping that on. So for this look, I wanted to go a little bit more on the darker side, and Milani lipstick smells so good. And I'm just using the color Black Cherry. setting my face. So this is the completed makeup look. This is kind of my take on bohemian makeup, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Twirl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>